Hello, and welcome back to Jessie Fit Pilates, your home to get fit, toned, and flexible as we strengthen, stretch, and smile. If you're here, you're on day 10 of my 28 day challenge. This is the longest challenge I've ever done here on YouTube, and it's all about creating a healthy habit that you can keep for life. They say it takes 21 days to build a habit, and I'm giving you a whole week extra. Today's workout is a no equipment leg workout. We will be doing a bunch of standing Pilates and bar moves that are focused on the feet. You don't need anything, just yourself. You can grab a bottle of water if you want, just to stay hydrated as we go through. I do have a pair of sticky socks on, but you don't even need those. Just make sure whatever surface you're on, you're not going to slip on. And I am just going to start with a little bit of a knee raise, just a little bit of a march. Just raise one foot, place it down, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, just keeping my feet parallel. And then from here, I'm gonna turn out. I'm keeping my arms up now, turning the knees out. Maybe bringing the hands to the hips. Just loosening up my hips a little bit. And then I'm gonna step out. And just coming out to this wide stance. Go wider then you like reach your arms out and just twist for a second center and my legs are really solid i'm squeezing my toes into the floor now twist you can soften the knees if you need to reach the outside of one leg twist reach twist reach come up twist Just warming up the body. And then from here, we're gonna go into some plies. So plie down and up. Now my knees are reaching out over my toes. I'm gonna make sure my toes are turned out at the same direction. I reach and up and reach up. And bringing those arms back in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And then hold it with your arms out. Little pulses. Down and up. 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 My kitty ears stay up on the ceiling. And then hold it here. Take one heel up. You can always bring your hands to your hips. And you can always hold on to something like a wall or a chair if balance is an issue or you're having trouble keeping your spine tall. And give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold one side up. Bring that hand up. Let's do little pulses with that heel up pulse. Keep that knee reaching out over that midfoot. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Take that side down, other side up, and pulse, 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 and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, four, three, two, one. Drop the heel, stay in the plie, reach down, come up, down. So now I'm touching the floor. If you can't touch the floor, just touch somewhere on your leg that's available to you. Keep your chest really proud as you come up. Now see if you can raise the heel as you reach towards it. Raise, lower, raise, lower, reach, reach, reach. And eight more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
hold it there, stay in that plie if you can. Raise both heels, lower. Lift, lower. Lift and lower. Let's see if we can take the arms up, down. And bring them into a quarter bra. The higher you take the arms, the harder it'll get. And the heels too. Six more times. Exhaling, inhale. Keeping the chest proud. Keeping the knees as wide as you can. Three to go. Now hold it up. Hold, hold, hold. Five, four, three, two, and drop the heels. Take your hands onto your thighs. Just twist one shoulder towards the opposite knee. Looking back towards that shoulder. Come back up. Twist to the other side. Coming up from here, extend and let's heel toe the feet on in. From here, come all the way down to the mat. Then we're gonna come to a side lying position. Come down onto your elbow. And extend the legs out long. You want your body today in a straight line if possible. Lift your top leg up and then lower a few times, keeping your waist really lifted, keeping your bottom arm really solid. You can take this arm up to make things a little bit more challenging. A few more like this. Everything is long, belly muscles are pulled in. Now hold it, I'm gonna flex this foot, sweep it forward, point it back. Sweep forward, point back. Sweep forward, point back. Sweep, point, sweep, point. Four more, sweep, point, sweep, point, sweep. Point, sweep. Now hold it back there. Small circles, small, 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 small. You can always take that top arm down. Three, two, and then reverse. Small circles, keep everything tall, proud, long. Last four, three, two, one. Now, set that leg down for a second. Lift your bottom leg, lower. Lift, lower, push into that bottom arm. You can see mine got a little bit lazy. Now lift the other leg up and keep lifting that bottom leg. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Now lift both legs, scissor, scissor, scissor. You can always take that top arm down. Scissor, scissor, scissor. Scissor and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it in the split. Keep your bottom leg forward. Small circles with that bottom leg. Five, four, three, two. One, other direction for eight. Keep pointing the toes, keep everything long. You can bring that top arm down for three, two, one. Bend the legs in, take a nice mermaid stretch. Reach back for a stretch. Come through a diamond position. And we'll go on to the other side. So come to your side elbow position. Body is out really long, elbow is underneath that shoulder. Abs are pulled in super duper tight. Top leg comes up, down. I had my top arm up. And this leg isn't going super high. I'm really focused, you saw how I was sinking down, on keeping my body long, right? So adjust as you see fit or as you need to. A few more here. A 
Now hold it there, flex your foot forward, point it back. Sweeping the leg, flex forward. Now keep that torso still, point back. Flex forward, point back. Flex forward, point back. Flex forward, back. Nice and slow. Feel this all through the side, the top side of my body. And two more. One more. I'm gonna hold it back there, circle it, circle it, circle it, circle it, circle. Keep everything long. Three, two, one. Other direction, circle, 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 circle. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna place that leg down. My bottom leg lifts, it lowers. It lifts, it lowers. Lifts, lowers. Lifts, lowers. Now, I'm going to lift the top leg up and just do a few lifts there. Three, two. Now, I'm going to scissor the leg. Scissor, 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 scissor. Keeping everything long, chest really proud. And eight. Keep the torso as still as you can. Legs are reaching out long. Thighs are really working. Five more. Keep your chest proud. Arm can come down for support. Three, two, one. Now that bottom leg, small circles, small circles. Three, two, other direction. Out around, out around, out around, out around, out around. Three, two, one. Come into your mermaid. Big stretch here. Now, let's come on to all fours. You can do a quick cat-cow. Arch and round and arch and round. Now, come on to your elbows. I like being on my elbows for these just because it, it, when you do it on your arms with the long arms, I feel like it kind of like sways your back, like your back ones are moving around. My knees are right underneath my hips. And I'm gonna draw my belly muscles in. I'm gonna really try to keep everything in my torso still. I'm gonna reach this leg back, and I'm gonna take it up to about hip height, and I'm gonna draw a rainbow on the wall behind me. I'm gonna rainbow it to one side, and then the other. Rainbow, and I'm keeping my hips really still. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Give me eight more. And seven. And six. I just, like you're making a rainbow on that wall, right? You're just painting your toes. Keeping the spine long. You want to make it a little harder. You can bring the opposite arm forward. Now hold it on that opposite side and pulse down, 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 four, three, two, one. I'm going to bring that arm in. I'm going to bring that leg back to center. I'm going to hold it at about hip height. Make sure everything is still. Let's do a few hamstring curls. Curl in, stretch, in, stretch, in, stretch. In. Stretch the higher the knee, the harder the way. You can drop the knee down if you need to. Three more. And then hold it here and pulse up, 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 up. For six. And you can take that arm forward to make it a little bit harder. Three, two, one. Bring it on in. Quick cat cow. And we'll go on to the other side. Extend that opposite leg out. 
reach your spine long, draw your abs in. Bring your foot to one side, we're probably like my mat's pretty big, then the other. Bring it to one side, the other, one side. You can bring the opposite arm forward to add more of a challenge. It's like you're drawing a rainbow on that wall behind you. And five, over, four, over, three, over. Keep breathing. Now we're gonna hold that last one and pulse, 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 pulse four, Three, two, one. You can bring the arm in. Bring everything back to center. Curl, extend. Curl, extend. I'm gonna flex my toes here. You can bring that opposite arm out if that feels good for a little extra challenge. And three, two, hold it. You can bring the arm down if you need to. Pulse up, up, up. Four, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, and one. Slide that knee forward. Let's come into a nice lunge. Take a nice deep breath in. Slide your hands, your knee up first. Slide your hands in and bring your hands to that top knee. See if you can just drag, drag that knee, that, slip, that foot in. Out, in, out, in, out. And maybe bring the hands up for eight, seven, six, five, four. You can add a little arms. Three, two. We're gonna take it down to a plank. Take your hands down. Take your plank nice and strong here. Bring the other foot forward, nice and long. You can bring the knee down, take it for a stretch. Get ready for your high lunge. Bring it up to a high lunge. Maybe bring the hands up to the knee and slide that knee in. And out if you can, hands come up. Keep your chest really broad and then bring the hands in. Almost done. For five, four, Three, two, one. Reach back, come into your plank again. Take your hips up, let's hold it here and just pedal through your feet a few times. Knees down to the mat. Slide one knee forward. And let's go ahead and see if you can reach back. Holding one foot. You did it, you are so close. It is day 10 and you just completed it, which means we're more than a third there. Give yourself a pat on the back. It's not that easy to commit to something. And consistency is really what's gonna get you the best results. Reach back for that other leg, deep breath. You can always use a circle, or a strap, even a t-shirt if you can't reach. Let it go. And I hope you enjoyed. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Head on over to the blog to grab the calendar so you can check off each day as you do it. And also, it'll tell you which piece of equipment you'll need. Tuesdays and Saturdays, I'll be going live. Saturdays will be a dress up day. So I hope you'll join me and have fun. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you on the flip.